Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, April 29th, 2019. Yes, this is a general energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Um, I had a good one. It wasn't bad, actually. It was kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Can't lie. Um, yeah. Uh, keep an eye out. I am going to be releasing more of the Zodiac readings. I got the first six done. So that's from Taurus through Libra. Um, and if you haven't checked those out yet, go ahead and do so. I'll be having, I'll have the next six out, you know, throughout the week. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't, I, yeah, I think that's it. This is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your person, own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. All the information is in the description box below. Um, and these readings, these messages, and you know, it's funny. I was thinking about it even for my monthly readings. All of my readings are basically timeless. Um, so, well, at least these general readings. So, um, you know, whenever you come across it, if it resonates with you at that time, then it resonates with you at that time. You know, don't worry about it. It's good. It, the, the, then the message was there for you for that moment. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you like my stamp? <laughs> I went bowling yesterday and they gave me a stamp when I went to the bar afterwards. <laughs> And I haven't washed it off yet. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, guys. Let's get into today's message. Yes. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Monday, April 29th. 2019 Thank you so much spirit. Um interestingly enough, I don't know why I heard this, but while I was um, connecting just now, for some reason I heard, please leave me alone. I don't know if you're saying this to someone or maybe someone is saying this to you. I kind of feel like it's one of the viewers that are like, just leave me alone. Just go away already. Uh, could it potentially, I don't know why, maybe it's a Virgo. Maybe you should watch the Virgo reading. I don't know. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but it's happening. So I just wanted to say it. Okay. Monday, April 29th, 2019. Best messages, please, spirit. We're going to give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for the day. Yales? Yales. Oh, and I have to keep an eye on my microphone because it died while I was doing the Libra reading yesterday and it was so annoying, but I hope it doesn't die on me today. I did change the batteries, but they're not fresh batteries, so you never know. <laughs> Alrighty, kids, let's see what we've got for today. Monday, April 29th, 2019. Monday, April 29th. I'm going to sneeze. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Shit. Okay. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck. That, guys, that literally, like, you don't understand. That was, like, basically half the deck right there. But whatever, we'll do it. Seven of Cups is at, uh, is the overall energy, is at the bottom of the deck. Um, and then the first few cards that came out, oh God almighty, do you see this stack of cards right here? Whatever, we're gonna do it, but <laughs> bear with me, okay? Um, the first few cards that came out 
between the Wheel of Fortune and then this Nine of Wands that looks like it's want to be wanting to be reversed, it feels like there's some sort of surrender that's happening here for someone, okay? And then, yeah, I knew it, strength. I saw that come out, um, strength here. You're needing to, you're needing to really pull on some strength or you are pulling on like your own inner strength. You're, you're, you're tapping into the inner reservoirs of strength that you have to surrender in some way, okay? Good golly. Moon child, eight of pentacles, two of swords, eight of wands. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, Judgment, Nine of Swords, The High Priestess, Magician, <laughs> Justice. So, holy shit, you guys, this is too much. I can't take all of this. Are you kidding? Oh, man. This is insanity. This is absolute insanity. With the Queen of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Hierophant. This is insanity. Holy moly. Okay. What is happening? So, please excuse the pauses. The pauses are happening because I am trying to figure out what the fuck is going on here. <laughs> okay. Um, Moonchild. You have cycles, obviously. Um, I wonder when the next new moon is is it the may is it the fourth of may okay anyway all right so let's 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 go over here first so the queen of pentacles the sun and the hierophant um so this is kind of an extension of what we were talking about over the weekend, I want to say, with this Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, and I, do, I am taking notice of the fact that the Queen of Pentacles is kind of looking in an opposite direction as the Hierophant. I feel like someone or some of you <clears throat> are really letting go of some sort of status quo. Like you have, turtled, you have totally turned your back or you are in the process of turning your back on maybe the patriarchy, uh, what you would understand as the establishment, the, the status quo, um, that kind of energy. But with the sun, it's because of an illumination. It's like, you, it's almost, uh, what I'm feeling with this is like, you are, you have seen the light. You have seen through something and it no longer represents what you thought it represented. It may never have, but you may have been tricked into feeling like or believing that it was something more than it is when it's not, and you're turning your back on it now. Or you're just, maybe you're not turning your back completely, but you're removing yourself. You're separating yourself from it, all right? And then we have all of this. And I actually do wanna rearrange some of this Judgment, justice, and the high priestess need to be going together, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, judgment, justice, and the high priestess. It's almost as if the high priestess is saying, we've been trying to get you to understand this for some time. And that absolutely has to do or is, is connected with the surrender that's happening here. Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Wands in reverse, and strength, okay? There is definitely a form of surrender that's happening here. And um, yeah, please excuse me, guys. I'm trying, I'm really trying to pull this together, but <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Okay. Um, Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles. I mean, this is, honestly, this is really self-explanatory, and I feel like I'm try I'm just making it too difficult trying to, trying to um, decipher what it means. But the Two of Swords energy feels, really, it feels like um, mental balance, okay? It, it really does. Um, 
it feels like a blockage. It's almost as if like you're not trying, you're not entertaining anything else. And you're not, well, you're not entertaining anything new, any sort of um, new opinions. You've made your decision and now you're you're moving forward in that direction. And it, it, it just feels like, especially with this Queen of Swords energy, it's like you're not trying to hear anything else. You're trying to keep yourself balanced. You're trying to keep yourself in check. You're not, you know, you're moving swiftly and see that's all in service of the six of pentacles you're moving swiftly the air is clear the space is clear the you're, you're very clear and concise in your communication with the queen of swords here or at least you have intentions of doing so and then with the six of pentacles and the eight of wands it's like you're you're not trying to entertain anything else that is not balanced reciprocal um, and that's the big, that's the biggest thing with this hierophant energy, okay? That's the biggest thing. It's like it's not it's imbalanced, and I think what's happening here is you're finally seeing the imbalance for what it is, and you're not taking it lightly, or at least someone isn't taking it lightly, okay? Wow, guys, this is really this is really heavy, really intense. Um, I do want to say, whoever it is that's actually really going through this, congratulations. I know it doesn't feel like that right now. Like, why are you congratulating my, me right now, Eric? I get it. I, I understand. I'm congratulating you for, I guess, in essence, waking up. Judgment. Seeing these situations for what they truly are, the sun and the higher front. Narcissism, egotism. That kind of thing. Okay. Next we have the Moon Child, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Nine of Swords, the Magician. The Moon Child, ener child energy is talking about the cycles that we all go through. But to me, this is re this is like revealing something. It's like what. It, it's so crazy. What happened here is for someone, there were cycles that you were a part of within this established energy, I guess, the Hierophant. And eventually something just didn't add up and you were paying attention and then all of a sudden, this one fateful cycle, I guess, revealed some things to you. That's what I'm getting with the Moon Child. It doesn't have to necessarily be that way. It's just that it, it feels like eventually the the cycle revealed itself. It opened it, you know, it revealed itself through its own cycle. That's what it feels like, okay? Now, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Eight of Pentacles is working. I kind of feel like you worked really hard in this. Or what it, no, no, okay, no. Um, what this is, is, is as you're moving forward, you're working really hard because you're inspired somehow. You're inspired to make some sort of change. It's giving you anxiety, don't get me wrong. It's definitely giving you anxiety, but the magician with the nine of swords is saying, you're anxious. The biggest anxious, the ang busy, biggest anxious uh, thought I guess you're having is, I don't want to create something like this again. How do I really get out? How do I get away from this? How do I manifest something different? You're working on it. And really the only thing you need to do to manifest something different would be to just change your vibration and not think about, because this, the nine of swords is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay. So oof, I don't know what this is, you guys, but someone's breaking free. And you know what, this might also be, this really may have to do with the rise of the divine feminine energy. If you watch Aluna Ash, you know that she's been talking about how we have the rise, we have the divine, the year of the divine feminine coming up. I want to say it's like sometime this summer that it's actually going to like start. Um, but yeah, that's happening. And I really feel like 
this is definitely connected to that, especially since we have all this feminine energy here. I mean, I'm using the Moon Child Tarot, so there's a lot of feminine figures within this deck, but we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. We have the High Priestess. We have Justice, Moon Child, and all of these are typically uh, um, feminine figures anyway, regardless of the deck. The masculine is represented in the Hierophant here, which is the patriarchy. We're all stepping away from it. This is a massive awakening. This is a massive awakening. Like this, I, I know I'm being jovial and um, making, kind of trying to make light of the situation, but it's it, the reality of it is serious. Like someone is seriously waking up here and seeing society, status quo, the way things have always been done, the way it really is, and not through some sort of rose-colored glasses. Wowzers. <laughs> okay. Okay. But there's, there's definitely a, a surrendering element here. And guys, this is a general reading, so please take it, take it, like fit it into your life how it fits. Just uh, because I'm saying it a specific way doesn't necessarily mean it has to be that way. I mean, because this just came to mind with the Wheel of Fortune here. We've been talking about getting off the karmic hamster wheel for a long time. So this could just be, this doesn't have to be the big overarching um, patriarchal situation or societal situation. This could be a little more a little smaller so like it could be I don't know for example it could just be the twin flame situation and seeing it for what it truly is instead of through these rose-colored um, romantic glasses you know what I mean like seeing the truth seeing it the, the point is that somebody is seeing something for as it really is they're seeing the imbalance in the situation um, they're seeing the, the the lack of reciprocity, balance between give and take, and they're going in their own direction, okay? Or at least they're starting to. There's inspiration towards going in, in their own direction here with the Ace of Wands. That is definitely for sure. I don't feel like you're really starting just yet because you do have this Nine of Swords with the magician. The magician. Um, you're in a process, whoever this is, is in a process of trying to manifest or realign is what I just heard. You're trying to realign here. This is a fresh, this is pretty fairly new because um, the nine of wands being in reverse here, it's like you've just now given up the fight against going with the flow. Even though you are surrendering and going with the flow, you're now going with the flow of the universe instead of society, if that makes sense, in whatever way that resonates for you. Ooh, okay. So let's get into some clarification now. Um, and actually, instead of clarification, I'm looking for, let's get some guidance on how to move forward. Because again, this feels very fresh. This is a very fresh situation. So some guidance moving forward for you on hand, how to handle this situation. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Here we go, guys. Just some guidance. I'm just gonna let the cards speak here. Oh, look at that. There's that Hierophant again. This is really interesting, you guys. Ten of Pentacles. Yes. Underneath the deck, you've got the Seven of Swords. So you have the Seven of Cups in the first half, and then you have the Seven of Swords in the... That's really interesting. Two sevens here. Uh, luck, wisdom, okay? The Seven of Cups here in the original or the first deck is talking about... It's just things are swirling around you. There are plenty of options. You're seeing things as they truly are. 
Um, and this is why also you're not really moving forward just yet. You're still, tr it's almost as like your head's still spinning from this situation. Like someone, someone is really like, holy shit, what the F was all that about? Like, how could I possibly have gotten s roped in or sucked into that kind of situation? But it's okay. It was all part of the learning process. It's all, basically, it's all part of the awakening process, judgment here, okay? But... Excellent. So you have the Ten of Pentacles, which came out with the Hierophant on this Six of Pentacles energy. All right. Lessons have been learned. What else do you have? The King of Wands. Wow. The counterparts. The King of Wands, the Page of Swords, but then also the Four of Swords in reverse. Okay. Wow. All right. So um, all of this fell on the six of pentacles here. Yes. So you have the Hierophant with the ten of pentacles. Lessons have been learned here. Okay. There was a moment. It really felt like there was a moment where you were with this four of swords in reverse. Somebody was like, oh, well, no, let me just make sure. Let me just see. I don't know. I maybe i just need to see it differently maybe i'm just like no there's no more of that there's no more rest there's no more trying to change your perspective or see things differently i really feel like now is the time that's what this is saying here okay and if you're still in a situation where you're trying to figure it out i don't think especially with this page of swords energy um i think now is the time for movement now is the time for communication also now is the time to seek something new. It's like you've been resting for a long time. You've just been like, and this is hard to describe. I'm, I hope I'm getting it right. Uh, I'm getting it across correctly. And then you have the King of Wands, okay? The King of Wands feels like a narcissistic energy. It feels like an energy that's like a torchbearer, but a false, not even false, because I'm not trying to say that anyone is false here. It's just not what they seem. On the other hand, on the other side of the situation, you have the Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands fell out on Moonchild, which is talking about the cycles. And with that, you have, ooh, Temperance in reverse. Very interesting. There might be some hasty action going on here, but there might be. But honestly, if there is, it kind of feels like it's because you've waited long enough. Four of Swords in reverse. You've waited long enough. You've seen through the situation. You've come to a great balance or there's an alchemy here that has happened. And now it's finally, it's like the alchemization process is finished and now you're moving forward. Queen of Wands. Trailblazing. Finally, you have, oof, death. <laughs> right in the center of the situation death transformation falling on the eight of wands and the queen of swords i mean come on y'all that's beautiful transformation like literally right in the center of the reading death <laughs> Ugh. congratulations to someone i mean i guess i was looking for some advice but you don't need any advice you know what's going on here the transformation is happening wow that's really cool. Okay. I do like that there we have the counterparts here, the king and the queen of wands. Cause okay, so this is what's kind of saying, telling me that it's like this is actually a really good thing. This was meant to happen this way. You were meant to learn this way. Even though with here, with the high priestess, judgment and justice, originally what I said was it kind of felt like the high priestess or the universe had been trying to tell you this for a long time. I don't want anyone to get discouraged with that because ultimately you are exactly where you need to be right now. And these two counterparts, so it almost feels like this was set up and actually, 
actually that is how these things work but it was this it was set up so that you could learn from each other and go on your own separate paths eventually wow i don't know who this is for but like this is a big step this is a major major step for somebody Okay, I'm going to close out the reading now with some oracle guidance from the Lightworker Oracle because obviously someone is doing some light work here. <laughs> you know. All right. Let's see. Let's just close this reading. I mean, this is a massive awakening here for somebody. This is a massive awakening. All right. Okay, closing message here for this reading. Okay, here we go, guys. Best message, please, Spirit, to close out this reading today for this massive awakening that someone is going through. Divine talents. Mm. What? Uh, here, I'll use this one. Card number 39, divine talents. Here we go. You are a talented soul. Over many lifetimes, you have developed your spiritual abilities to channel higher awareness, attracting, attract healing energy, and radiate light to uplift the consciousness of those around you. Your divine talents are many and uniquely expressed through you. Your talents do not have to resemble those of another to have their own inestimable value. Do not be afraid to use them. Wow. Okay. Okay. So for somebody, someone was going through a situation in which they were a part of a group or a part of a, an establishment or something. Maybe this could be someone really kind of breaking away from the, uh, I guess, the, tr the spiritual community. It could be that. Um, I mean, I kind of, I, I understand that. Like, I don't necessarily resonate with, you know, the the spiritual community yes I'm, i am i do spiritual work but like i don't personally resonate with that it just doesn't work it does it doesn't feel right for me so i don't do that so I, that's kind of what i'm feeling like here it's like you're breaking away from the status quo you're breaking away from what you were taught or what you thought your talents could be used for you, what you thought you were meant to do here or the way that you thought you were supposed to supposed to that's the big thing supposed to show up or express yourself or use your your gifts or whatnot whatever you're coming now somebody is coming into a greater alignment with themselves um to for more truth more authenticity I hope this, oh God, I hope this is making sense. But congratulations though. Like I said before, congratulations on waking up or on seeing things as they truly are. Yes? Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you all have a great day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yes? Take care. Mwah. Bye.